In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between points, lines, segments, rays, angles, and stuff like that. So the first one is pretty straightforward, points. You know what a point is. That's a point. So we can call that point A, point B, point C, and so forth. Next, what is a line? If you're taking a geometry class, these are some basics that you want to understand. A line contains many points and it extends infinitely in both directions. So it could have point A, point B, point C, and so forth. Now you need to be able to name this particular line. So you can call it line AB and for lines you need to have both arrows to show that they extend in both directions. You can call it AC, you can call it line BC, you could also call it BA or line CA, and we could also say line CB. So as you can see with this particular line that contains three points on it that's highlighted, there are six different ways in which you can name that line. So what about these two lines? How can we name it? The first line is simply called line L. That's it. Now the second line contains two points that are highlighted. So we could say it's line AB or line BA. So make sure you know how to name a line if you're taking a geometry course. Now the next thing we're going to talk about are segments. So what are segments and how do they differ from lines? So let me draw a picture. A segment contains two endpoints. It has a beginning and it has an end. A line goes on forever in both directions. But a segment, it has a finite length. So this can be called segment AB or segment BA. So as you can see, there are no arrows. So that tells you that it's a segment. If we put two arrows on it, then we have line AB. It's no longer a segment. But if you don't see those two arrows there, then it's a segment. So you need to be able to distinguish segments from lines and in the next example also from rays. So what is a ray in terms of geometry? And let's fix that Y. That Y does not look like a Y. A ray has features of a segment and a line. A ray has an endpoint and it has an arrow. That's a ray. So let's put some points on it. Let's call this point A, B, and C. So a ray has a beginning, which starts here, and it extends infinitely in the other direction. Whereas a line extends infinitely in both directions, a ray only extends infinitely in one direction. So point A is the endpoint. Now how can we name this particular ray? How can we call it? We can call it ray AB or ray AC. But we have to start at the endpoint. We can't call it ray BC because B is not the endpoint. So with a ray, there's only one arrow. A line has two arrows. A segment has no arrows. So if you see AB with one arrow, you know it's a ray. So here's a little matching quiz that I created that can help you distinguish rays, lines, segments, and points. So feel free to pause the video and uh, match it accordingly. So let's start with number one. So we see we have AB and we have an arrow that extends in both directions. So we have two arrows. That's a line. A line extends in both directions. So number one is B. So I'm gonna highlight that in red. Number two, notice that there are no arrows on BC. 
So that has to be a segment. And so number two corresponds to answer choice C. Now number three is not a line or anything. All we see is a dot. So therefore number three represents answer choice D, which is a point. And number four, by default, has to be array. Array only contains one arrow as opposed to two. And so now you know how to distinguish a point from a line, from array, and from a segment. Now here's a question for you. What's going to happen if we combine two rays? Let's say the first one is called ray AB, and this is ray AC. So if these two rays meet at point A, what will form? The combination of two rays produces an angle. So we're going to get this particular angle. The common endpoint is point A, which is also known as the vertex of the angle. Now you can name this angle three different ways. You can call it angle BAC or angle CAB. Either case, the common endpoint or the vertex has to be in the middle if you're going to use all uh, three points. You could also simply call it angle A. That works as well. So you have three different ways of naming this angle. So basically, angle BAC is the union of ray AB and ray AC. So what that means is that this whole angle is basically the sum of this ray AB and the second ray AC. So make sure you know the difference between union and intersection, which we'll talk more about it later in this video. So this is the union symbol and this is the intersection symbol. Now you don't always have to use letters to describe an angle. You can use numbers. You can call this angle 2 or you can call this angle 1. So you can use numbers to name angles as well. So let me give you an example problem. Let's call this angle 1, which extends between the first two rays. And let's say this is angle 2 and angle 3. And let's say this is A, B, C, D, and E. Starting with angle 1, what are two ways or two other ways in which we can name angle 1? So angle 1 can be called angle A, B, D. You could also say it's angle D, B, A. Now what about angle 2? What are two different ways to name angle 2 and also angle 3? So angle 2, you can call it D, B, E. You could also call it angle E, B, D. You can name it in reverse. And the process is going to be the same for angle 3. So angle 3 can be called angle E, B, C. Or you can call it angle C, B, E. So notice that the vertex, letter B, has to be in the middle of each of these angles. Because B is the vertex for angle 1, 2, and 3. So now you know how to name angles. Now let's move on to another topic. Now let's start with a line. And let's put some points on this line.
So let's call this point A, B, C, and D. So here's a question for you. What is the union of segment AB and segment BC? How would you represent the union of these two segments? So this is segment AB and this is segment BC. The union of those two segments is basically just the sum of both of them. So that's going to equal segment AC. When I think of union, I think of addition. Let's say if AB is 5 and BC is 4. AC is 9. So AC is basically AB plus BC. So the union of AB and BC is segment AC. Now, what is the intersection of segment AC and segment BD? The intersection is where these two segments meet. So this is segment AC and segment BD is highlighted in green. Now notice that AC and BD, they intersect at BC. That's where we have both of them. So the intersection of AC and BD is simply BC or segment BC. Now let's say if we have two rays. So the first one is ray BC and the second one ray BD. What is the union of ray BC and ray BD? What's the union of these two? Well, if we put them together, as we mentioned before, this is going to turn into an angle where the common endpoint is B. So the union of these two rays, ray BC and BD, will give us angle C, B, D. So we've covered this before. But now here's my question for you. What is the intersection of ray BC and ray BD? Think about it. What's the intersection? So where do these two rays, where do they meet? Where do they overlap? Notice that they meet only at point B. Ray BC is not part of Ray BD. They only connect at a point, not at a segment or a line. So the answer is simply point B. So when you're dealing with union, you're like adding two things. Intersection, you're finding where the two things meet or where they overlap. So make sure you understand the difference between the union symbol and the intersection symbol.